Good morning. Welcome to Ask Coffee Online. My name is Chef Caesar, and today I'm going to make for you a chicken roulade. A roulade could be any piece of meat or pastry, you know, fill and roll with whatever filling you want. I mean, today I'm going to be using some spinach, some portobello mushrooms, some prosciutto, but honestly, you can do any, any filling you like, you know, to have. And you can do it with beef, pork. Today I'm doing chicken. We're going to start by preparing our chicken breast. I got some nice chicken breasts, boneless chicken breasts. And uh, usually you, you buy them and you get them with this little fat around. You want to make sure you trim all this fat around this because you don't want to cook this. Most of this fat has got some drizzle around here, a little uh, cartilage. So when it cooks, it's going to be, you know, still there. It's now on the render. It's now going to melt away. So you want to clean the breast really nice like I have right here. I got two nice breasts over here I'm going to do. And I will need to pound this. But before we do that, because these chicken breasts are, they're called random chicken breasts. And uh when we buy them in the restaurant, but you know, at the store, they're just like a regular chicken breast and they're really, you know, thick. So we don't want to start pounding this because we, if we do, we're going to break the, you know, break the meat. We're going to make some holes. So we're going to butterfly this. So by doing that, we're going to, you know, take our a knife. We're going to, you know, slice it in half, but not all the way. So we're just going to kind of go in here and make sure you don't go all the way. Okay. Okay. We just want to butterfly this, which is going to be uh, make it easy to pound. That way it's not as thick and it's now on a, so we got that one here. And we're going to do this one here. Okay. Okay. And uh, the way I cook this, you can, uh, you know, saute it, bake it. Today I'm going to poach this and I'm going to, pretty much kind of pan fry it then that way it's nice and uh, it gets a nice color but now we're gonna start by pounding this chicken breast I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over the top that way I don't uh, break the meat if you want you can put some plastic wrap underneath the underneath the chicken on top of the cutting board but today I already got it dirty so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do it like this and I got my meat melt here start going really slow And you can make this ahead of time and, you know, keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready to cook them. Or you can, you know, like I'm going to poach them today. You can do that. Poach them and, you know, cool them off. And then you can come back and then heat them up, which uh, you can also do that for a faster service. Depends how you're going to cook them, you know. You can also, you know, lightly bread them and uh, spray them with some little olive oil so they get nice and crisp in the oven. It's really a matter of liking whatever you want to do with them. So this is going to be a really nice, okay, we want to flip them over, so we pound the other side, Be careful not to hit it too hard. My melt is not that heavy, otherwise I wouldn't be, you know, pounding it that hard. Otherwise, it, you know, you can break the meat and the stuff and it's going to come out. So you got to be very careful when you do this. But this is very light. Normally we use like a heavier, you know, it's got like a wood handle or metal and it's a little more heavy. So you don't need to, you know, hit it as hard. But this one is very light. So we're almost there. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting filling inside here. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna season this with some salt and pepper before I do anything else. Okay, I got some white pepper. Now I'm gonna put some of my. Uh, I got some prosciutto here I'm going to be using. You can use, you know, ham or whatever other, you know, stuffing you want to do. It works, you know, whatever you like to stuff it with, it works really well. So I'm going to do some prosciutto here. Okay, a couple slices. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of this uh, porcine cheese. This is uh, French-style cream cheese. It's got some garlic in order. And it's really, you know, light... 
It's creamy. It's not as heavy as uh, cream cheese. As you can see, it looks like it spreads like butter. Okay. This should be a little softer because right now it's a little cold. But when it's uh, a little warmer, it spreads out much, much quicker. And you can do any other kind of cheese if you want. You can do like a provolone cheese, uh, just regular cream cheese. Okay. I'm putting the cheese down. That way I can uh, put the spinach and it's going to stick to the cheese. Also, I'm using some sun-dried tomatoes, some portobello mushrooms. And uh, this makes a, re a real nice... Uh, dinner entree or even a lunch item. I'm also going to be making a nice garlic wine sauce to go along with this. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put this a little more over here. So I love this cheese. It's great. Nice and tasty. Okay, now I'm going to raise my hands a little bit. Over here I got my poaching liquid. Okay, I don't want it to boil, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna poach this in uh, some chicken stock. And I'm gonna add some uh, leaves of spinach here. Look at that, it's gonna be nice. Okay. I'm also gonna throw some sun-dried tomatoes. Make sure you soak them up. Uh, if they're like really hard, even if they're not, soak them up a little bit that way they're nice and soft. Otherwise, you know, it's really tough. So you want to soak them in some more water. If you want to put some uh, in white wine, you can do that too, but just warm water works just as well. Okay, here you go. Put this to the side here. Now I got my some portobello mushrooms I slice here. Okay, a few slices in each one of them. Slice them very thin so I'm able to like fold it and roll it really nice. Okay. There you go. Now we're going to start rolling these babies up. This. Look at that. It's going to be a nice, nice roll here. Do this other one here. There we go. Okay. Put them to the side real quick. Now I'm going to wrap them with some plastic wrap so I can poach them. If you were to bake this uh, just in the oven like they are, you want to tie them down with some butcher twine. That way when you cook them, they don't open up. So that's uh, something in case you want to like saute them or bake them or the kind of lightly bread. I'm going to poach them, so I'm going to wrap them up in some plastic you know, film, which is going to help to you know, keep them together. I believe we have a question over here. This is a borsine cheese. You can find it at any uh, store. It's right here. It comes in like a little pouch. And it's, it's got like different flavors. This is an herb and garlic uh, cheese, but they have plain. They also have like a dipping uh, for like uh, chips or maybe other, you know, like whatever you want to use them, like potato chips or tortilla chips. But this is a nice, it's called borsine. And it's a French cheese, French style cream cheese. And it's really nice. You know, if you get a chance, you know, pick one up and then try it. You're really gonna like it. You can also, you know, like make a sauce with that, like making like a cream sauce, for example, for this chicken. You can, you know, then add some of the cheese and it makes a great, nice creamy sauce. Okay, now we're gonna roll this uh, chicken. I got my plastic wrapped on here. Okay, put it over. Roll it really tight, okay? Like this, Let's see? Okay. See, look at that, it's nice. Should we tie one in here? Okay. okay. If you want to poach this for about, let's say, 10 minutes, that one might take a little longer because it's bigger, but this little one, because we're going to finish cooking in the pan anyway, so here you go. It goes into our poaching liquid right here. And I'm going to cover this. Okay, now I'm gonna roll this again, the last one. And you can make this uh, you know, all ahead of time if you wanna cook them all at the same time. Right now, I'm, just, I'm cooking that one because I'm gonna show you, you know, how to finish it all the way to the end. But this, 
but you have this bigger one, so it might take a little longer it's in a, to cook. Okay. Look at that. It's a nice big piece of, you can probably get two servings instead of this one. It's a big piece of chicken. Okay. See how easy it is? And again, you don't have to do all like this. I'm I'm rolling them up because I'm gonna be poaching this uh this chicken. Otherwise if I was gonna, you know, bake them or like you know, saute them, I would tie them down with some like butcher twine, like you said before. The way they keep, you know, they don't open up when you when you cook them. I'm just gonna throw this in there too, okay? You can see starts to turn real white so it's going to start to cook and be careful when you poach in something you don't want to you don't want it to boil so you just want to kind of simmer it and it's going to kind of cook slow i'm going to cover this in the meantime i'm going to uh, you know wipe down my cutting board because i cut some chicken in there I got my bleach water over here at home if you guys uh, want to switch cutting boards feel free I'm just going to wipe it down really nice because I'm going to be. Okay. Now I'm going to be making a nice uh, garlic wine sauce for my uh, for my chicken breast here. I'm going to add a little olive oil. Okay. Well, we have the chicken cooking over here. You can see. I got some garlic here. I'm gonna add some fresh thyme, a little lemon, some chicken stock. Nah, it's gonna make a nice, nice sauce for my chicken breast. And you guys could do whatever you want. You know, cream sauce goes really good too, or even a, you know, mushroom sauce with some uh, a veal demi. I'm using the lemon and thyme, the garlic and the wine. It's just really light sauce, no cream. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this. Okay. About a couple garlic cloves. I got about four here. Okay. And I'm using the Chardonnay wine. You can use any other white wine. Try to get away from a sweet wine like a Riesling. You don't want to have the sauce kind of sweet. This is a nice wine. Or you can use a Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc, Chablis, whatever you have at home. It's not sweet. You can use. And again, I mean, you can do whatever you like with, uh, with the filling. It doesn't have to be the same that I'm using right now. You can do any other filling if you like so it's just you know matter of whatever you know you like if you don't like spinach you can add other vegetable maybe asparagus or whatever you want so it's just the process that you need to learn here this feel free see how they're cooking really nice mm -hmm. I'm gonna chop some of this uh, fresh thyme here. You can also use some rosemary or some fresh basil for this sauce. Okay. Now my garlic's starting to brown. Be careful you don't want to burn it, otherwise it turns you know, bitter when I 
a little wine here. I'm gonna let it reduce down before I add my chicken stock. Okay. This is a nice, easy sauce to make, and you can make the sauce ahead of time and kind of keep it warm. open here. Look at that. And if you don't want to use chicken stock, you can make your own poaching lake, which is uh, put some um, mirepoix in there, some fresh herbs, and put some just water, maybe a little white wine. If you don't have, you know, like chicken stock, you can use just a flavor, you know, make a poaching lake with with the vegetables and you can you know use it as well but I just use some chicken stock which is going to be you know giving a lot of flavor to the salt to the chicken okay. I'm gonna add a little chicken stock here let it squish a little lemon juice about one teaspoon of lemon juice, depending on how much you're making. I'm going to give you guys a recipe along with a roulade recipe as well for the sauce, so you guys can make it at home if you like. Otherwise, you can use a different kind of sauce. And, uh, okay. And you can uh, serve this uh, chicken with maybe a pasta. You can make some risotto, rice, or any kind of starch. I'm going to make a little salad today here. Just something real light. I'm going to put some endive, some spinach, little, you know, radishes. So I'm going to be chopping some of this up just to get ready here. Mm -hmm. Make a real light meal. You can, you know, use, like I said, Whatever other starch you want, mashed potatoes, some roasted potatoes. A lot of things go over this uh, dish. Okay. I'm going to put them back in there. Also, I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. I like to clean as I go, so when it comes time to clean up, you don't have a big mess to, to uh, clean up. So, you know, try to get into the habit to clean up as you go, which, you know, makes a big difference at the end. When you have to clean everything up, it's much easier to do that. Okay, look at this. Our chicken is cooking here. Okay. I'm gonna reduce this probably by half, and I'm gonna thicken it up with some some whole butter. If you guys wanna kind of get away from the butter, you can use some cornstarch slurry to thicken up your sauce. But I'm gonna use uh, some whole butter at the end just to make the sauce you know a little thicker. And also I'm gonna add my fresh herbs at the end. Okay. I'm going to be doing some uh, poultry endive for my salad, some more apples. Keep these apples with some, some water, otherwise they're gonna turn brown. So, I'm 
I'm going to make some of my carrots here. I got a little carrot peel here to use as well. Okay. Sigh. And I'm going to use some of my fresh thyme here. And I'm going to throw some of this whole butter now. Sure, it's got enough salt and pepper and not too much lemon. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna take put this aside while I'm gonna finish cooking my chicken breast over here. And you can tell when they're they're almost done, they get like nice and firm. But if you want to use a thermometer, feel free. But since I'm gonna be you know brown a little more, so I mean if like almost three quarters of the way cooked, that's fine. You can take them off, and you know in the meantime, if you wanna take them off the plastic wrap, they're gonna stop cooking. But if you leave them in the plastic wrap, it's gonna keep cooking still. You can also refresh them right away in some ice water. If you're not gonna use them, like I'm gonna finish them cooking right now. If you were to save this, like to maybe cook them later on. You want to, you know, refresh them in, the, in some ice water. That way you stop the cooking process and they don't get overcooked. But, you know, like right now, I'm going to take them out of here. This uh, smaller one here. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brown this a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to take this. Put my little pan here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open it up on top of this plate. Otherwise, all the liquid's going to come out. Because you want to see a lot of liquid inside the bag when I open it up. Okay. Look at that. You can see this. It pretty much holds its shape. Okay. And I'm going to dry it up a little bit before I put it in my saute pan. That way when you put it in there, it's nice splashing everywhere. Okay. And there's gonna be more liquid because you got the cheese inside, the spinach, all the vegetables, you know, they have a lot of liquid, so but anyways, I'm gonna add some little olive oil to my pan. I'm also gonna get a lid so those and splash it everywhere. So I can cup in my pan. Okay. You can see I got my chicken here ready to go. We have a question. The question was, can I use lemon juice and apples? Yes, you can use lemon juice. You can squeeze a little lemon and uh, some water, some cold water, and put them in there. That's going to keep them turning brown as well, yes. Okay. All right, we're going to brown my chicken here. Okay, I'm going to put it right in there so it doesn't... The oil doesn't start jumping everywhere. And you don't have to do this. If you don't want to brown the chicken, you can serve it the way it is. Once it's cooked, it's poached, you can just slice it. But it's nice because you get a nice color on the outside, nice and golden brown. It kind of It's nice for presentation also for the texture. But like again, you can serve the chicken if you want to kind of keep it a healthy side, just the way it is, poached. You can slice it and serve it with whatever sauce you want. You don't have to brown this, but I'm just gonna give you an idea that you can also do this. And 
the meantime, when I start setting up my plate over here, adding a little salad to my plate here. I got some baby spinach I'm gonna be using here. Peel from my carrots here. Some radish slices. Just something real light. Okay. And this is gonna, it's not flat, so you wanna kinda push it down a little bit and kinda crack it. Okay. Finish to this. Okay, it's going really quick. I'll turn it down. Apples down here. And my chicken is almost done here. Okay, now I'm gonna pretty much take it out of here because it's done. Get up my sauce a little more. Okay. I got a little cherry tomatoes down here too. Some color here. As you can see, it has a lot of liquid, the cheese and the vegetables inside. Let me cut from this. A little bit more water here. Slice my chicken. That's okay. nice and cooked. Be careful, it's extremely hot right now. Now I'm going 
up a little so it's down on the plate here okay look at that There you go. We have a nice uh, dish here. That you guys can easily make at home. I'm gonna pour a little more sauce over the top here. Look at that. And there you go. A nice chicken dish that you guys can easily make. It's nice and healthy. And uh, I'm really happy you guys were here this morning. I'll see you next week with another interesting topic. Thank you and have a nice day.